did it, um, those experiences heighten your awareness about your, um, the importance of participating in civil rights movements that evolved later on? Uh -huh. I think it, it did two things. It, one, made it activists of us. Uh, you can't stand still for that stuff. I mean, so you you knew that you had to become more active, and it made you more sensitive to the plight of others. It wasn't just us, I and mean, we weren't on the street. We had jobs, and we had places to stay, but it made you more intensely related to poor people, people who were disabled, people who were anyway, in any way disenfranchised. Yes. So you... Um, you knew you had to do something about it. The other thing it did to us personally, when when a couple, or, or when a couple are under that kind of stress on the outside, it could uh, push them apart. I mean, you start taking it out on each other. I mean, your tension and your feeling. It did just the opposite for us. It was almost like two against the world. I mean, <laughs> uh, we became solid, and 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 I was very aware of that because we. We had to talk about everything that was happening. We didn't just take it and internalize it and make it mine. It was ours. And the solutions had to be ours. Are we going here or there? And if we go, what are we going to look for? And if we go, how are we going to prepare for that? And shall we ignore them? Let's ignore them. Um, let's laugh at them. I mean, I remember that little room in, in the Harris home. Some of the shenanigans were so outrageous and so juvenile that we could make fun of them. It was our defense. Good. And yes. and we would sit up in that little room and just say, did you see that woman? She pulled her <laughs> chair over. I mean, and then, you know, we went on and on about that. Um, so I think it solidified our relationship as a couple. It made us activists, and it gave us a chance to, to be creative about how we responded because we're talking to each other and we're saying, what shall we do? And... Um, then Jack got very active in, by joining the movement and joining the NAACP board and all of those uh, opportunities had to work as the early movement started to form. And did you belong to any of those organized I belonged to the entities? NAACP, but I didn't, I didn't go out on marches with Jack that much. We, all, we took the whole family to the march on Washington. Uh, I went out to push when Jesse first started push, and yes. we were so excited about what he was doing. And Dr. King was marching in Birmingham in 63. Jack went down and said, what do you need? And he said they needed bail money. And so we had our first jazz concert on our property. We had 200 people. And um, the last jazz concert we had, we had about 6,000 people. So it was <laughs> oh, wow. an event that grew over the years. <laughs> and um, first giving the, the first proceeds to Dr. King in Birmingham. And then we decided to have it annually on the last Sunday in June every year. And we would rotate the funds through the civil rights organization. So that was how we, the way we Fantastic. contributed. And then when Dr. King was assassinated, we had the concert for his children and sent the funds to them. And then, of course, when I found formed JRF, the funds went for us. 